Hey guys, it's Rec here again, and today I'm going to be showing another uh, integration related to RFID that only exists in Bruce firmware. So this is the only one, the only firmware for an ESP uh, chip that can integrate with this little guy, the Chameleon Ultra. We have some other versions of this little guy and this is the low cost one but it's a chameleon ultra we can emulate uh, high frequency rfid and low frequency rfid with this little guy and now we can uh, interact with this guy to send some dump files from bruce to this guy to be emulated with this so first let me start by connecting let me connect here. Come to tools, Chameleon Ultra. And change here to get out of the CLI. Refresh to check what it's in each slot. And let me choose the number eight here. So uh, let me see if I have a dump here. Let me create an empty dump like this one here. Mm. No, this one has something. I don't know, maybe number three. Let me check. Yeah, this one is empty. So let me save this dump. And let me change to the slot eight. No. Let me try again. Not this one. Yeah, this one is empty. Slot eight and simulate. Okay, now we're on the slot eight. I don't know if you guys can see here. And let's read what it's in slot eight. So you can see that it is all zeros here. So it's an empty slot now. Uh, let me refresh here. Let me change the name to, I don't know, only B. And change the tag type to and tag so i messed up with the slot eight here so you can see that now the name is b and it's an n tag 216 and the uh, uh, id here is all zeros okay so let me disconnect and let me come to bruce here so now we open rfid and we have a chameleon menu here. We choose a file. So let me choose this read only here. And I want the slot eight. Okay. Now it's gonna ask, uh, turn on chameleon device. So right now, what I need to do is turn on the chameleon here. I'm gonna turn it on on another slot here. So uh, let me see the slot two and press okay here in Bruce. It got connected. You can see that it automatically changed the slot to the slot eight and it's sending the comments and success. Okay, now we can um, come back to the, uh, the app here. Let me connect again with Bruce, uh, with, sorry, with Chameleon. Connect. And let's check how's the slot eight now. Let me refresh here the slots. 
So now you can see that it's a My Fair Classic 1K. The name is Bruce. And now we have an ID here, 8A7B8D99. So it changed here. Okay, let's try once again. Let me disconnect. Let me put it here. And let's come back to uh, the Bruce firmware. So, comedian. Let's select another tag here, uh, the same slot 8. And it's going to ask, uh, turn on chameleon device. So I'm going to turn it on. Let me change the slot here and press OK. So turn on again. OK, got connected. This tag is 73A7. Uh, OK success already so let's check how it is uh, Bluetooth connect chameleon let's refresh and now we have here seven three a seven eight nine a one Okay, so it changed the tag again. So now we can uh, read some tags with the uh, RFID2 module, save the dump here in the SD card, for example, and send it to this guy so it can be emulated. So now let's test the emulation. Let me disconnect here. Let's open the RFID with a read tag. And we just need to put this guy here close to the Bruce, uh, close to the reader. And you can see that uh, we can read the tag. It's in a different slot, so let me change to slot eight. And you can see that the ID 73A7, I don't know if it's focusing, but 73A7, 8, 9, A1. Okay, guys, that's all. So thank you and see you in the next video.